Hello students, good morning. I am Dr. Annie Frieda, postgraduate teacher from SLB Government High Secondary School, Nagarkoil. In this video, we are going to see what are transformers, what are the different types of transformers and the working of the transformer, construction of transformer and also the efficiency of the transformer. Transformers are of two types. If the transformer converts an alternating current with a low voltage into alternating current of high voltage, then it is called step up transformer. See here, the number of turns, number of coils in the primary circuit is lesser than that of the secondary coil. So here, the lower voltage is transformed into higher voltage. So it is called a step up transformer and see here the higher voltage because the number of turns is higher in the primary circuit than in the secondary circuit so higher voltage is stepped down to lower voltage because the number of turns in the secondary coil is lesser than that of the primary coil right so if the transformer converts alternating current with higher voltage into alternating current with lower voltage then it is called step down transformer so there are two types of transformers step up transformer and a step down transformer turns in the primary coil than that of the secondary coil then it is called step up transformer and if the number of turns in the primary coil is greater than that of the number of turns in the secondary coil then it is called step down transformer step up transformers are used in power stations and step down transformers are used in the consumer stations that is um, near our houses the transformer which is near our house is a step down transformer right the principle of um, a transformer is mutual inductance between two coils there are two coils the primary coil and secondary coil and so the mutual inductance between the coil is the principle of transformer construction there are two coils wound over silicon steel core this is the silicon steel core and two coils the primary coil and the secondary coil are wound over the same steel core the coil which alternating voltage is applied where the alternating voltage is applied is called the primary coil it is given by p and the coil from which the output voltage is got output voltage is drawn is called the secondary coil now we shall see the working of a transformer See, a transformer is having a primary coil of n turns that is n p turns and secondary coil of n s turns so the current flowing through the primary coil is i p and current flowing through the secondary coil is i s the voltage applied to the primary coil is v p and voltage drawn out of the secondary coil is v s so when the primary coil is connected to an alternating voltage magnetic flux will be produced in the primary coil which in turn due to mutual inductance magnetic flux is also produced in the secondary coil if there is no flux leakage between the primary and the secondary coil the emf induced in the primary coil will be also equal to the emf induced in the secondary coil so due to flux change emf is induced in both primary and the secondary coil and uh, the primary coil emf will be epsilon p that is equal to minus np d5 by dt we already know the formula the emf induced in the primary coil is ep that is equal to minus np d5 b divided by dt we know that the applied voltage is equal to the induced emf 
then EP will be equal to VP and so we can write VP to be minus NP d phi B divided by DT and what will be the induced EMF in the secondary coil? It will be ES that is equal to minus NS d phi B divided by DT and if ES is equal to VS then VS could be also written as minus NS d phi B divided by DT. If we divide ES divided by EP, we will get minus NS d phi B divided by DT divided by minus NP d phi B divided by DT. Here we can cancel minus and minus d phi B divided by DT and d phi B divided by DT. And so we will have ES divided by EP to be equal to NS divided by NP or Vs divided by Vp is equal to Ns divided by Np and this is given as k and the term for this k is voltage transformation ratio voltage is being transformed see from primary to secondary secondary voltage divided by the primary voltage will be equal to the secondary number of turns divided by the primary coil number of turns and that ratio and that is a constant and it is given by voltage transformation ratio okay for an ideal transformer we will have input power to be equal to the output power what is power vi so input power will be equal to vp into ip so voltage in the primary coil into current in the primary coil that will be equal to output power that is voltage in the secondary coil into current in the secondary coil and so this could be rewritten as Vs divided by Vp will be equal to Ip divided by Is. So we can interchange this. Vs divided by Vp. Vs divided by Vp will be equal to Ip divided by Is. So it is written here. Vs divided by Vp will be equal to Ip divided by Is. But we know that Vs divided by Vp is equal to n is divided by np right that is equal to k so from this we can derive how a step down transformer will act and how a step up transformer will act so see here for a step up transformer k will be greater than 1 if k is to be greater than 1 vs must be greater than vp n is must be greater than np and ip is greater than is see here ns is greater than np vs is greater than pp and ip is greater than is so here the secondary voltage is greater than the primary voltage and the primary current is greater than the secondary current so we write here as Secondary voltage is increased. Secondary voltage is increased. Vs is increased. And secondary current is decreased. Is is lesser. Ip is greater and Is is lesser. We can infer these values. So for step down transformer, the K value will be less than 1. Vs is less than Vp. Ns is less than Np and ip is less than is or here primary voltage is increased see here the primary voltage is increased but the primary current is decreased primary voltage is increased vp is increased than vs so primary voltage is increased than secondary voltage but primary current is less than that of the secondary current right this is what we are inferring next we can see what is the efficiency of a transformer always efficiency has the definition that ratio of output power to the input power or it could be easily written as eta is equal to output power by input power into 100 percentage efficiency right 100 percentage so transformers will have uh, 96 to 99 percentage efficiency we don't have 100 percentage efficiency because transformers have so many losses uh, losses like 
iron laws copper laws flux laws we have so the efficiency of an of a practical transformer will be 96 to 99 percentage but for an ideal transformer we have 100 percentage efficiency so hope you have understood what's a transformer what are the different types of transformer and um, construction and working of a transformer and the efficiency of a transformer we have seen all these topics hope you have understood all these thanks for watching if there is any doubt please ask me in the comment box thank you